had a chance to leave. This is a wee video about the Scottish Borders Council that is busted for cash uh, and about the politicians that surround the Scottish Borders Council. Like Michael Moore, the quizzling traitor to his country that runs massive companies out of Dubai before his constituents find him out. And he builds art galleries in my hometown that laugh at the fundraising that are the campaigns that he runs in Afghanistan and they pit Rolf Harris as a prize in the opera and then when it's 500 years after the tragedy at Culloden none of them understand the fucking thing and what happened in Sarajevo when the Archduke was killed in the assassination on the bridge was that the Archduke was killed on the Hume Bridge. That's the Hume, the philosopher, that philosophizes on peace out the Borders region. And his mate Jim Hume, the MSP, was a Facebook friend of mine until I started to dub on the family and their museums that commemorate him as an artist in wartime. Let's have a wee listen to Michael Moore's confusion about his role in how every 500 years or so they have a massive cull of the Borders constituents so that only two of them can go back and fly the flags in Selkirk again and look concerned about it ever ever happening again. That's the same Michael Moore that we referred to yesterday as the expert now in demonising Islam. He has been chucked out of every cabinet office that he's ever held because of his role in global corruption and the genocides that have occurred in the Middle East on behalf of Tony Blair, the envoy to the Middle East. Tony Blair's wife Cherie is a barrister. She is involved in massive companies in the south of England. She was inducted into the Grey's Inn organisation which is run by guest politicians like Mrs Thatcher. Uh, it is horrific. It is completely premeditated to dismember society's capability in terms of funding which is why I'm referring some of these videos to my relative Kenny Ovens. Loads and loads of non-executive directorships. When I sent my correspondence into him in reinvesting in the busted Icelandic banks, he refused to talk to me ever again, even on the telephone or by email. He visited my home in New Zealand and he could not find his way to get the hire car out of the airport without my assistance. Like George Osborne trying to find his house in Downing Street. These guys make an artistic celebration of every cull that they engage in. Let's have a listen to this hypocrite for a bit more. Always flying the flags, black and yellow. Oh, sorry. That's Norman Ford, the commander of the Heights is the English premier. So why did they lose it? Why did they leave their position? To any military person you ask, that is the key to the defeat. Our military force.
Alan Beath has dis received all of my disclosures on the massive frauds in Westminster that create modern day wars all across the world, particularly in Ukraine and Syria. These guys continue to pretend that they care about the border and the prospects beyond it. All they care about is their personal accounts. This man claimed £100,000 a year in personal expenses. I've got the PDF in my portfolio if anybody wants to see it. He's a Facebook friend of mine. He publishes everything that I put up there because he does not have the courage to contest it. He talks about the holes in the roads like John Lamont MSP, the one who perpetually refuses to report any of the crimes that we report, even the nuclear weapons scandal that is Trident 3 and Trident 4. This is the same tactic used by Gordon Brown to put youngsters on air to try and manipulate minds as the dispossessed broken homeowners of the broken homes, like they have already dispossessed council home owners of the council homes. I've sent in freedom of information requests in recent months to try and find out who the social landlords are who now own all of the council homes since the council homes were privatised. They would refuse to engage in that and they refuse to engage in a revelation of who pays the sheriff at the sheriff court to hear cases like the ones that these people are propagandising on behalf of the Scottish Borders Council as underage victims of a marital thing that the council are using to portray for their potency in running the region in a civilised manner. You remember Malala appearing on the news screens within six weeks of her having her brain blown out by Islamic terrorists. All of it is done by making videos and films using the news vent propagandists that we have exposed and a lot of the images that I showed earlier on were on a character called Alistair Moffat. He's the boss at St Andrews University. He's a friend of Jim Nocte, another Scottish Quisling. All of them manipulate the news. All of them are demonising Islam and innocent parents and innocent cannabis users so that the politicians at the top of the tree and the policemen who defend them right at the very top of the policing system are able to continue with the abuse of our society like it has been since flooding. All that the working man now does is get himself pissed as a fart at the celebration of the death of his predecessors for the same cause. I showed you uh, the man who runs the military tattoo in Las Vegas, the former head of the Scottish Borders Council, uh, who's a devout Christian at the Church of Scotland that picks Malala-like figures in Kalampong in India where they get the massive quakes and they bring that one person out of poverty in the ghetto to try and manipulate minds on distant continents and to win contracts at PricewaterhouseCoopers where loads of friends of mine work on the river in the fishing sector. They now cannot dedicate their time to uh, the fishing club and the investments that used to roll into the fishing club because they're acquiring the assets for that fishing club. All of this happens right on the bloody border where John Lamont is the constituent MSP and Michael Moore is the criminal that likes to spend most of his time profiteering in Dubai with input from George W. Bush. That's the P and O organization. Many of my friends in my career path work intimately with Michael Moore. 
even my neighbours and their children and the owners of those art galleries brutalise distant continents, they participate in charity scams for profit and only yesterday we saw the launch of the Ebola scams right across the world to try and prevent what has happened in sub-Saharan Africa since we began to expose this political corruption in Holyrood and Westminster at least Salmond has the decency to resign these guys will go soon uh, and when the genocides in Afghanistan Iraq and their business numbers are revealed then it will be really embarrassing for them Jim Hume was a friend of mine I've shaken hands with him in Kelso when I reminded him that it takes a bit of courage and that what Kennedy died for is what I'm working for now this is his response they get in front of the microphone at Culloden 500 years after the event and nobody mentions the war graves that are in the adjacent parishes there are hundreds of dead borderers who died in World War I which was initiated at the Hume Bridge but they have taken that information out of the history of the world's transcript now uh, and what they would have you believe is that we need to be worried about the Islamic menace and you look at my other videos that we've made on YouTube about the business interests and the links to the Israeli banks this is how we do it we commemorate it by reenacting it the politicians make a passionate speech within months of them being booted out of office <laughs> eh, and it all just gets recycled the uh, the local councils have no power at all now the bus stop that has just been uprooted to be replaced by what was a toilet <laughs> cost 700 pounds 7000 pounds it was less ambitious than our garden shed the people think that this is the way to change it by reenacting it by getting pissed on a mountain top near Hoik but not letting the women participate when you drink the rum in massive amounts so that you can have a little political and sexual scandal that covers up the truth about what Michael Moore and the current cabinet is doing to the free world that's the denim ride out okay you've got a man on the horse at the end of the high street Hoik has produced hundreds of sporting heroes on a globalised scale none of them get remembered except in the bushes somewhere near the woods where the war graves are yeah when we get to the war memorial we only get to hear about the speeches that we heard yesterday the king's speech the stammering king apologising for taking his country in inverted commas to war for the second time in his lifetime those are the people that get on the screens behind the poppies and Alistair Moffat is now the head of the uh, St Andrews University where Butcher Haig returned from World War I safely with all of his precious troops and he let the rest of the free world in inverted commas rebuild from the rubble it is shameful all of them are Freemasons all of them work in the Walter Scott Foundation at the top of the chain I'm going to try and find you some footage of the Las Vegas military tattoo to celebrate Scotland's might in private wealth streams it might take a bit of time because they're quite embarrassed that this is coming out en masse here we go the might of the man in the kilt in the cull and the capacity to celebrate GF when I told Jim Hume that the way to fix it was what John, John F. Kennedy was trying to do but sometimes you get a hole in the head and salmon would require a bit of courage 
Jim Hume shirked away. Within days he was off my Facebook page and all his links to the equestrian sector are still on it. You know the equestrian sector joke. You know the elite joke about religion and martyrdom. All of them are still playing the game right under your nose and as long as you shed a tear to the romantic music and the beat of the drum then you're perfectly happy for it to recur every couple of decades or so so that the profiteers in the parliament buildings can thrive the law enforcers can tear homes apart using the propaganda that you've seen from the SBC uh, and the SBC cannot account for its massive toxic debt, toxic debt pool like every other council across the globe. It is theft by the elites, the monarchies and the moneylenders and the Rothschild dynasty. And what we do to get back at them is to celebrate it in a historic context, taking the piss at the sacrifice of our predecessors. It is tragic and it is over 2,000 years old. Alistair Hutton, former head of the Scottish Borders Council, is in charge of this shenanigans in Las Vegas.